dear students <coughs> today we have to start the another story <coughs> by jim corbett the fight between the two leopards as the title is very clear that there is a fight between the two leopards and it is the description of the sam but the story <coughs> is quite important one because it is related to the man eater leopards the tigers who have taken the test of the human flesh and blood are known as man eaters these man eaters have been described by jim corbett in this uh, story i can't say that uh, there are uh, more than uh, one uh, man eaters in this story there is only one leopard who is described as the man eater let us come to the narrator of the story jim corbett who was this jim corbett and to which reason thus this incident is related jim corbett was a british army officer who was appointed by the british government in india he was a good hunter good shooter there was a terror in the himalayan range the place now today is known as uttarakhand kumayo is there <coughs> rudraprayag is there and this incident occurred in the rudraprag area of uttarakhand jim corbett was informed about the man eater in the area and he was requested to come to the rescue of the villagers by shooting this man eater he came to the village <coughs> a day before his advent in the village the incident had taken place a boy was killed by the leopard the mother of the boy was wailing and she was blaming the villagers that they could not save her boy her child or in other words you may say that the villagers did not come to the rescue of her son this was the blame of this lady leo this uh, jim corbett <coughs> observed and uh, took the stock of the situation he finds that the dead body of the boy was lying in an open field
the story is the story behind this one is why this uh, dead body was left in the open field by the leopard why not the leopard took this dead body into the jungle one thing secondly there were three walls to reach into the courtyard of the house where the boy was killed by this leopard the first wall close to the house was 8 feet long 8 feet tall thereafter there is some gap and open field is there the second wall was there and it was 12 feet high the second wall was 12 feet high and thereafter a open field is there in this open field there was the hedge of roses and that hedge of roses was 4 feet long thereafter another wall is the the, the the third wall was there and this third wall was of 10 feet high so three walls three walls were there the first wall close to the house was 8 feet high the second wall was 12 feet high the third wall was the third wall was 10 feet high jim corbett was thinking how could it be possible for the leopard to kill the boy there inside the courtyard took a long jump with the dead body and pass crossed the 8 feet wall and thereafter the leopard took a long jump with the dead body crossing the 12 feet wall high to the another side and finally the leopard jumped the 4 feet long hazes with the dead body and another long jump was taken another long another high jump was taken by this leopard with this dead body and that was of 10 feet high wall <coughs> was it possible this is what jim corbett was thinking and the third question that arises in the mind of leo uh, in the mind of uh, jim corbett was that the long teeth of the leopard had entered deep into the throat of the boy had it been the leopard the strong mouth the strong teeth of this leopard would have separated the neck from the body he must have broken the neck and separated it from the body because the teeth is so strong of the leopard then it would have turned into a torso the head was somewhere else the body was somewhere else but it was not a torso it was a dead body with the head that the leopard had taken it into the open field so these were the questions that had entered into the mind of uh, jim corbett and he was thinking how when and why well actually what happened as per the story that we come to know through the story when the leopard 
took this dead body into the open field after crossing the three great walls the villagers took notice of the leopard and they started beating the drums some of the villagers started firing and this made the leopard fear and he left the he left the dead body and ran away into the jungle it was all in the broad daylight means the leopard had killed the boy in the broad daylight and nobody had taken the notice of this killing inside the courtyard how is it possible this is what jim corbett was thinking next the dogs have the strong sense of smell how was it possible that no dog took the notice of the leopard in the broad daylight how was it possible that not a single dog was there to bark at the leopard leopard well anyway this jim corbett told the headman of the village that let me have four things the first one is shovel the second one is wooden pole pointed pole the third one is hammer and the fourth one is a long chain in which the dogs are fastened well it's all right that jim corbett have all arranged these things by asking to this headman of the village now what happened there one more important point is this in this regard that jim corbett wanted to kill that leopard he had come to this village with a purpose to kill that man eater to kill that leopard there since the dead body was left in the open field it was quite impossible for jim corbett to stay there wait for the leopard to come back to take the dead body again into the jungle because staying there will just be a vulnerable act the leopard would have attacked upon this jim corbett jim corbett also and he would have killed this jim corbett if he will stay there to kill the leopard with his gun since it was the time of evening it was not wise to stay there he told the headman that the dead body should be taken once again into the courtyard where the boy had been killed by the leopard the thing was done the dead body was taken into the courtyard and that dead body was fastened with the chain with the wooden pole there in the courtyard in order to save himself this jim corbett went into the baranda and the front face of the baranda was covered with the straw jisko hum log pual bolte hain that was covered with the straw and a gap was left there with the gun point so that he could have a vision jim corbett could have a vision of the leopard when he will come to take the dead body back into the forest so the waiting starts jim corbett is ready with his gun but 
there is a change in the climate. There was a thundering in the sky and the thunder followed with the rain. The rain followed by the storm. There was a storm in the atmosphere. When the storm stopped, Jim Corbett finds that the visibility has become very less. Why it is so? Because the sky was overcast, the small patches of clouds were there all spread all over the sky and the light of the moon, the light of the sky could not reach frequently to the earth. So, the visibility has become a very less one, it was also the time of night. Well, here one more point is important that fearing a very terrifying fear arises in the mind of Jim Corbett when he feels the fur of some animal to his body. He finds that some fur like the fur of the leopard, like the fur of the man eater is just touching his skin. He was terrified that my life has come to an end because it is leopard and leopard will kill me. So, he was terrified and he just took his gun ready to shoot this leopard. Suddenly, it jumps on his chest and he finds that it was a cat, not cat but the kitten and he thanks the God that he is saved. Well, he is saved, but his only intention was that, his only intention was that I have to kill the leopard at any cost because he is a man eater. So, he was penetrating his eyes into the open area of the courtyard and trying to find out whether the leopard is coming because the sound of the leopard or the tiger, the tiger or the leopard makes no sound while they walk because the sponge like claw is there. So, he was trying to penetrate into the dark. After a few minutes, he heard a sound, a growling sound. The growling sound was that there is a fight as if the sound was the warning of the two. When the two animals come face to face, two equal powerful animal come to face to face, they make a sound and that growling sound is a sort of threatening to each other. He concludes, Jim Corbett concludes that there are two leopards. One is the local leopard, the other is the trespasser, a killer leopard, man eater leopard. Man eater leopard is an intruder and local leopard 
is the king of that area. So, there starts the struggle of existence and survival of the fittest was there. The theory of Darwin works there, survival of the fittest and the struggle for existence. One side there was a local leopard who cannot allow the other leopard to enter into his domain. Their side, the other side there was an intruder. So, the fight, war of supremacy begins between the two. War of supremacy, who is the superior one, who is the powerfulest one? The fight went on between the two leopards and it was a great fight. Jim Corbett guesses that after a few minutes there was a pause and another sound started, another fight started to some distance out of that place. It means the local leopard was dominating the man eater intruder and he was the man eater leopard was getting back into the jungle, getting back slowly into the jungle. So, it was the second fight at some distant place. Thereafter, some pause was there and in the third fight, it took place in the long distant area, but the sound was audible to this uh, Jim Corbett and Jim Corbett concludes that the leopard, the man eater, the intruder was defeated by the local leopard. Now, the question you may rise, how this Jim Corbett conclude that it is the man eater who is defeated by the local leopard? The answer is, Jim Corbett says, had the leopard, had the man eater won the fight, he would have come to take the dead body once again into the jungle. He would have claimed the dead body and entered into the courtyard. Since he went back and back and back to the jungle, that is why he concludes it was the local leopard who won the fight and the man eater, the intruder received the injuries and he ran away into the jungle. But it is very sure after getting recovery, when that leopard will recover his wound, his injuries, he will come back again to kill the villagers. The villagers who were in panic due to this man eater are not safe because with the recovery of the injuries, this man eater will again come back to the village and kill the persons. Whatever be the case, the story ends here with the sadness of this uh, Jim Corbett that I have missed the chance to kill the leopard, to kill the man eater. That man eater who may come again into the village after getting recovered from his injuries. This is what the story 
the fight between the two leopards is. Thank you. You may be asked the questions about the fight between the two leopards. Okay. You might be asked the question about the terrifying fear of uh, Jim Corbett when he feels the fur of an animal to his skin. This is what the story about the fight between the two leopards. Thank you. Have a good day.